Working with technology becomes very exciting when you start to push it in a direction it's never gone before. Most kids don't get the chance to do that. We decided to take a new technology, put it in kids' hands, and see what they would come up with. For this project, we taught 3D modeling so that the students could create houses. These houses would tell the story of the history of the Yesler Terrace neighborhood where they live. Susanna End is our educator, and she got the kids thinking and talking about how to get across a message of history and culture. We are very fortunate to have Roger Mitchell as part of our teaching team. Roger grew up in Yesler Terrace housing and told stories of what the neighborhood used to be like, providing his own photos and even old newspapers. He also shot most of the video you're seeing here. Many of the students have families from East Africa. They have a perspective that is simultaneously American, African, and African American. Is that your country flag? That's your country flag. That's nice, yeah. Are you going to make one with that? Oh, yeah, that's They often brought East African flags and other cultural symbols into their work. To show off the students' 3D work, we are using a technology called augmented reality. This particular type of augmented reality is called AR Toolkit, and it was developed at the University of Washington Human Interface Technology Lab. It uses a camera to capture a real live scene, and then takes one of the 3D models and inserts it into the scene as if it's really there. There's a definite wow moment when you see it before you.